uh, again on that, but I'm just passing on, saying that it was really my honor to be invited and to be part of that wonderful celebration. Uh, I've learned a lot on on, on the day. Uh, sadly, we had to we had to go uh, before everything ended because we had to be at the shop by six. Uh, but you all already already I had food for the spirit, for the soul, and for the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, <laughs> yeah. All right, Tabo is ready now. Um, take this opportunity. Tabo, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, you? hi, hi, hi. Mm. <laughs> yes, I'm yes, good, thank you. Yeah, so now Guruji, His Holiness, yes, yes. and I put on in the studio. Uh, and even the last time when we were in the show with him, mm -hmm. it was so wonderful. Mm -hmm. We've learned a lot, and even now, people are still uh, okay, talking about, about, talking about yeah. that, raising on topic that we should yeah, talk about true. this. Yeah, and they've been waiting for the Guru for. How many months now? Two, 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 three months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been waiting for the guru. And the guru has kept his promise and he's there. But just a rough little bit here and we'll be in the dead and warm there. Come to us to need us up in the Sashang and the others are steady. The second time I will need us up in the Sashang and food. Come to us to need a way now who's going and I'm charging. I get social demand. Hey, party. Hey, I'm a sports anger. And this one, I'm about to be in one and I would say, I come back and I'm a poor, poor, come back. Otherwise, I'm a poor, poor, come back. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm going to go to the good coins again. I'm going to go to the good coins again. I'm going to go to the Sabong, which I am back at the normal. I got the Christian Kuleg is about to the other one at all one point. Young and young Hey, that's a good thing about to go to again. I come back at the Sabong and Ningi and at present the Gigi is all. Is it what a good other than a good thing? Right, I believe you go to the world, the water again. I connect with the Michigan. I want to say again, I get conquered with my capish. Okay, a careful tomb. Got to have it. Uh, it is kind of in this book. Twenty minutes after I would be by the case in I was just a shelly busy. Say, as we do, who call a guy 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 call a as we do the gathering, as we say, be there. Go to our and I think a singer confirm our mind, the Umsaga for November, a Tarconia, a Tarconia, Saga for November, a Elaso Bessie Corner, the Bessie Corner could mean the two economies of Bessie Corner, Uzobe Corner, and Lutok Chatomani Pambi. Uh, uh, I could have been sure the robbers of the stint and others as night in the land. Several rooms, and there's a school the fair and more money. Some sort of pork, which I sit called the local beseke, or to a villa fire, as the receipt tint and the land or as a seat in the salad room, as in the Buddhist tint and the wooden feet. But I want to was a shoulder in meaning one young and come back with salt. Yeah, in a baba and I, your father was a great old. Was able to see communicate to us. There's a good Yeah, it's kind to say that. Bound to marry the family, no Hey, I was a cool. I went to Banning a cool. Now, I don't know what you're about to travel as a cocky yam. I figured I went to Sebe Banning a cool. 
You've got your own that you teach. You've got your own uh, ashrams, uh, schools, if I may say. We don't have that. We don't have schools where we teach our culture, uh, our African culture, whether it's Zulu, Kosa, Sutu, whatever. Uh, that's what's missing from us. So when I say colonialism, colonialism uh, really hit us hard. Uh, I'm not exaggerating because oh. you, you can even see. Uh, you don't even need to be just... You don't, it's not something we're just talking about. Uh, after Macaulay, we even touched on... Uh, or we talked about karma, uh, where you, 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 you even uh, taught us that time is cyclic. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember that. As well, we, we talked about... Uh, we live about, uh, 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 on breath. Uh, how many breaths we take. Uh, it's not how many years, but it's how many. It's the breath, which was very interesting. So I'm just uh, reminding most of our listeners what we touched on, and uh, we're recapping here, and we touched on diet as well, uh, where we talk. You you you, you talked us. You taught us. You, you told us about meat that uh, humans were not supposed to eat meat, except if it's an emergency. So uh, what I'm doing right now is just a recapping on most things, just to refresh the minds of those who were listening and uh, letting those who didn't listen to the last program uh, know what we talked about the last time. But now, today, uh, the topic is Kali Yuga. Uh, you talked about seasons. How many are they for? Four seasons. Four seasons. And the last one is Kali Yuga. Okay. Yeah, so we're touching on the last one. Uh, the Christians know it as the last days. They call it the last days. Mm. Or uh, some call it the age of Aquarius, the Aquarian age. And uh, that we are entering the Aquarian age. There's we another are there. term that they use. Yeah. Um, they're called about the last days. Uh, okay, I'll do the Kumbol. Yeah, now it's just, it's just, I'm just, it's, it's Okay, we, we remember it, okay. yeah. But uh, we are on Kali Yuga today. Mm. Uh, we want to go in depth in Kali Yuga as uh, what exactly is Kali Yuga. Maybe we will start there. And uh, about this season or age, uh, what should we expect? Uh, how do we notice that we are in Kali Yuga? Maybe the behavior of the people, or uh, how do we do? Do we see that we're in, in this season now, Kali Yuga? What happens in Kali Yuga? Okay, thank you, uh, Tabo. I think uh, uh, this is the most important subject matter, if we understand the atmosphere in which we are living, then our miseries will release itself from us tenfold. So there are four seasons in creation. It's called Satyug. The first, the first season is Satyug, and it is one... 0.728 million years. The second season is Treta Yog and it is 1.296 million years. The third season is Dwapara Yog. It is 0 0.864 million years. And this is the last season, Kal Yog, 0.43 two million years. It's less than a million. Yeah, it's 432,000 years. Okay. Of which 5,000 years has elapsed. So we have oh. 427,000 years remaining in Kali Yuga. Wow. Okay. Okay. So in Satyug, the lifespan of man was 100,000 years. Mm -hmm. In Treta Yug, 10,000 years. In Dwapara Yug, 1,000 years. And the lifespan of man in Kali Yug should be 100, 100. years. But we don't even reach that. Yes. 
because we eating meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Right. Then, uh, in Satyug, the demonic and the divine lived in two separate worlds. Okay. In Treta Yug, the demonic and the divine lived in two separate countries. Okay. In Dwapara Yug, the demonic and the divine lived in two families. Hmm. And in Kalyug, the demonic and the divine lives in one person. Can you repeat that? <laughs> in Kalyug, the demonic and the divine lives in one person. Hmm. Yeah. In Topara Yug, they lived in two, two families. families. And then in Treta Yug, they lived in two countries. countries. And in Sat Yug, in two separate, two separate worlds. worlds. Okay, interesting. Okay, so this will give you an indication of the bipolar and tripolar nature of man. Okay. He gets up in the morning, he's in one mood, uh -huh. during the day in another mood, and at night another mood. You see a murder committed, and you'll say, I couldn't believe this man could commit mm -hmm. murder. I was just with him. I was just with him. He does not have that capacity. It is that he was impelled by the demonic state mm. at the point of murder. Mm -hmm. When he went to church, he was impelled by the divine state. Mm. And when he's having fun and he's passionate and he's attached to materialism, mm -hmm. then he's in a mixture of the divine and the demonic. Mm, mm. So there's a war with, within. There is a huge war within. Mm. Mm. The demonic and the divine. Yes. Yeah, so in Kali Yuga, yeah. there will be divorce will be at its highest, and you can see it. And Jessica and I were just discussing at Ashram. We had service today, and after service, I think whilst mm -hmm. we were waiting for transport to the show, mm -hmm. uh, we were discussing a divorce, and I told her, coincidentally, that's my topic, Kalyug, mm -hmm. <laughs> to the show that we are mm -hmm. on our way. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I forgot my, my Bhagavad uh, Purana, where I was going to read a few verses, but you'll have to believe me mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that it's already predicted in the Vedas mm -hmm. that in Kalyug uh, people would know morality, know ethics, uh, will be religious leaders, crooks will be religious leaders, crooks will be presidents, and you can see around the world the character of presidents, of prime ministers in the majority are people who are not who don't have ethics and, and, and morality ingrained in them. They are common people mm -hmm. uh, with uh, uh, material influence. Mm -hmm. Morally bankrupt. Morally bankrupt that's running. And, and, and you see, uh, the Vedas predicted correctly. Mm -hmm. We have two state presidents currently, or one state president of America was a billionaire. Mm -hmm. There's a, a current state president in South Africa who is a billionaire. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a, a run-up to presidency in the Republic Party, an Indian uh, in America. Mm -hmm. He's also a billionaire. So, mm -hmm. so now people are buying their way into government instead of being mm. uh, with, with the money, whichever way they, they obtained it. Mm -hmm. It is it is money into presidency and not your character and mm -hmm. your ability to be a, 
a state, a leader, uh, a state president. Even mm. even it's, it's it's happening in the churches. Yeah. Uh, it's happening in uh, religious places mm. where people uh, with no ma morality mm. Mm. are running these institutes. So mm. so the Vedas has correctly predicted it is there. So when I say the Vedas, I want to make it clear to your listeners mm -hmm. that a long, long time ago, mm -hmm. this information that I'm giving you, the Indians do not own this information. Mm -hmm. The Vedas are scriptures, universal scriptures, which everybody had. Mm, not just the Indians. Yeah, it's, 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 it has been retained by the Indians because of the disciplic succession system. Mm -hmm. So although the Indians uh, uh, in India suffered a thousand years mm -hmm. under foreign rule, mm -hmm. it was the guru system mm. that retained the knowledge of the Vedas mm -hmm. and passed it from guru to disciple. Mm -hmm. Then the, one of the disciples become a guru, mm -hmm. then he passes it on to his disciple. Mm -hmm. And that is the only reason that we are custodians of the Vedas. The Vedas, mm -hmm. the Vedas do not belong to Indians. India. The Vedas belong to all of humanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the West... <coughs> They came to Africa and they gave you the Bible and took your land. You know that mm -hmm, story, mm -hmm, all right? Yes. yes. And, and, and that information that was in the Vedas mm -hmm. was all over the world. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think one of the other questions uh, that Tabo sent me uh, mm -hmm. was the Linga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? And you'll find the Linga in every part of the world. Mm -hmm. It is part of the Vedas, and you'll also find it in every continent. Mm -hmm. A linga has been found right around the world. Okay. So the linga do not belong to India. Mm -hmm. It belongs to the world. Oh, to the world. The, the Veda, the linga is one of the personifications mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the Vedas. All right. So it belongs to the world. The mm -hmm. Vedas belong to the to world. The I am not converting. There's no such thing as Hinduism. Mm -hmm. As I've stated earlier, the last time when we yes, we said Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan Dharma means eternal way of life, mm -hmm. and it's way, a way of, of life. It's a it's way, a of, way life. of life. Mm -hmm. Eternal way of life belongs to all of humanity, plants, animals, mm -hmm. trees. It belongs to everything that's in this universe. Mm -hmm. However, it is currently being expounded by. Indians from India, but I want to also make a distinction. So if I am teaching mm. uh, geometry mm -hmm. and if a German is teaching geometry, mm -hmm. the subject matter geometry does not belong to either me mm -hmm. or to the, the German. German. Mm. It belongs to a subject called mathematics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so if I am teaching German, uh, if I am teaching mathematics mm -hmm. in Sanatan Dharmi, mm -hmm. I'll teach it through my culture. I'll be dressed in my culture, mm -hmm. but the subject will be absolutely mathematics, mathematics yeah. only. Mm -hmm. And a German will come through his culture, his mm -hmm. dressing, mm -hmm. but his That's culture so will not own the subject matter. Mm -hmm mathematics. Mm -hmm. So similarly the Vedas mm -hmm. is only being taught through my culture. Yeah. It's not owned by my right. culture. It belongs to the whole world. Mm. And it is my mission to the Western world mm -hmm. to promote the Vedas and give every human being mm -hmm. its rights mm -hmm. over the Vedas. So this Vedas and these teachings, and I hope between you and Tabo, mm -hmm. you can bring me here as often as possible mm -hmm. so that in my lifetime mm. I can distribute this knowledge mm -hmm. 
through this station, mm -hmm. through my brothers and sisters who do not understand. So I want to emphasize again, and I will always be emphasizing mm. that the Vedas is your birthright. Yeah. The Vedas is your That's birthright. True. Don't look at my culture. I'm not only in the Vedas. Mm -hmm. I'm here to remind you that the Vedas is your birthright. Right. And I want to qualify this. Mm -hmm. I want to qualify. qualify this. So in the region of my heart mm -hmm. is situated the real me, which is the soul. This body is just a robotic mechanism mm -hmm. which I, the soul, is using for the purposes of living the human life. Mm -hmm. But the real me is in this mm -hmm. region of the, of, the heart. of the heart. So if you and I were to leave our bodies together, mm -hmm. same day, same time, same place, mm -hmm. and if there was a seer mm -hmm. who could see the soul, he won't be able to identify us after we have left our mm. body because you are equal mm -hmm. to me and I am equal to mm. you. We are both identical sparks. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. only differentiated mm -hmm. in this and robotic, this body. this body that we are wearing. Mm. So your body identifies you mm -hmm. as an African Yes. My body identifies me as an, as an Indian. Indian. And this is only mm. a temporary status yeah. of you and I. Yeah. Our eternal status, exactly the we same. are exactly the same. So if knowledge was to be given to the soul, mm. then the knowledge has to be identical mm. Mm. to both souls. Yeah. This knowledge that I am expounding today, mm -hmm. at this moment, mm -hmm. is computed in my soul. Mm -hmm. It's coming from my soul through my vocal mechanism yes. and it's reaching you through, through this apparatus that's here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you become self-realized, mm -hmm. this same knowledge is inherent in your soul. Mm -hmm. God computed identical knowledge in every soul. Mm. Mm. That's powerful. That's interesting. Okay. That's, yeah. So this is why I'm saying the Vedas is your birthright. birthright. Because it is there, it's computed in your soul. Mm -hmm. The only reason I know it because I went through a process of self-realization. Mm -hmm. Self-realization means you divorce yourself from this physical body mm -hmm and you take an inward journey. Mm -hmm. And when you reach, we have five bodies in fact. Mm -hmm. All right, we have the causal body, the intellectual body, mm. the mental body, the pranic body, and the gross body that you can see. Mm -hmm. okay. so this this is body is like an onion. You know, yes, you, yes. Can you repeat the onion? <laughs> yes. Can you repeat the, I'm not sure if the stages or okay. the body types. Okay, so, so right at the outset, you have the spiritual soul. Spiritual soul. Mm -hmm. Covering the spiritual soul is the causal body. The causal body, all right. Covering the causal body is mm -hmm. the intellectual body. All right. Covering the intellectual body is the mental body. The, the mental body. And covering the mental body the mental is body. the pranic body, the body that gives us shape. Okay. And And... Covering the pranic body is this the, gross, the gross body that you see. Okay. All right. All right. So we have the gross body, the subtle body, and the spiritual body. Mm -hmm. If okay. I add the intellectual and uh, okay. uh, mental body together. All right. Wow. Okay. So you have the same covering. Mm -hmm. I have the, the same, same covering. covering. Our four right. coverings are the same. It's only the fifth covering that is different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to be a little bit crude. Mm -hmm. If you and I are skinned, right. nobody will be able to state that you are an African and I mm -hmm. am an Indian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once you remove the gross body, 
Everything else is the same. Everything else is the same. Mm. So why shouldn't the information that I receive through mm. self-realization mm -hmm. be different from the information that you receive in self-realization mm. mm. if we have one creator? Yeah. That's powerful. Mm. Mm. So, so, so yeah, what you say, uh, the Vedas, uh, in fact, we are like a, a, a car with a flat battery. That needs a push. And then the Vedas would kickstart us <laughs> back because we have forgotten. But yes. it's in our DNA. Yes. It's so encoded somewhere there. It's in your spiritual DNA. We have yeah. two DNAs. We have a material DNA and we have a spiritual, spiritual DNA. DNA. Our spiritual DNA is identical. Okay. It's only our material DNA that we are different. So what, what, what means uh, these people who are running the world, these evil ones, they're making sure that we don't wake up and find out who we are. Yes. And that is why they're dividing us. Mm. So, so, so they are doing their job because we're in Kalyuk. Mm -hmm. And in Kalyuk, 25% of the people will be righteous, 75% right. will be unrighteous. Mm -hmm. So for every one righteous person, there's three unrighteous mm -hmm. persons that are attacking him sure. or her. And okay. it, will, it will remain like this until this 427 okay. years have okay. passed. But God also gave us that independence to intervene. Okay. And me being here today mm -hmm. is an intervention. I don't know what, how many people listen or will be listening to this program or what your listenership mm -hmm. is, but we are captivating their understanding today. Not all of them, mm -hmm. but many of them will now start looking at themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they'll be. They need to do self analysis, right? And this is where self realization comes in. Uh -huh. So although we are constituted to be seventy five percent in ignorance, uh -huh. if myself, you, and Tabo are serious in social cohesion, uh -huh. in oneness, in 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 putting God first. We can change that dynamics. Mm. It yeah. don't have to be 75%. It is a formula <coughs> that is given for this time period, but we can go and we can change it mm -hmm. to Dwapara Yug. We can change it to mm -hmm. Treta Yug. Mm -hmm. We can intervene mm -hmm. like what we're doing today mm -hmm. and let not the pe people be or let them not remain constituted to be 75% in the darkness. Mm, yes. Okay. Yeah, no, I, which means that once you, um, I'm not sure which, which once, once, once you realize your self-realization is that how you record it. Yes. Uh, then it's, it's my duty to then teach others. Yes. You no, know, they should come because it's uh, the truth or the true meaning of, of oneself, of, of humankind. Everyone deserves to know exactly in what stage that we're living in, what is happening right now, and most importantly, who we are as, as human beings. Yes, and I explained this today in my discourse. Mm. I said the food for the soul mm. is the absolute truth. Mm. Mm. So as long mm. as you continue to live in the truth, mm. your soul is being fed. Mm -hmm. So as we are seated in a radio program today, mm -hmm. and I am propagating the truth, yes. there is 75% of news outlets around the world or even more mm. that's propagating false propaganda. Mm. 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 And, mm. and that's where majority of our people are mm. stuck. Mm -hmm. They are stuck because they don't have the ability mm -hmm. to differentiate between right and, and wrong. wrong. And this is why I entered now mm -hmm. the radio domain. Mm. Mm -hmm. I entered the, both, both on, uh, um, uh, on the Indian side. I've mm -hmm. uh, been on two radio yeah, shows, yeah, you've yeah. noticed. Yeah. Because yeah. wherever the demonic forces are, mm. the guru want to be there. Mm. Use yeah. the same tool. <laughs> the guru want to, <laughs> to be, be there. there. So, yeah. so 5,000 years ago, mm. 
There, there is an epic called the Mahabharat. Can you repeat that? Mahabharat. Mahabharat. Bharat. Okay. The, and and in this epic, mm -hmm. the Supreme Lord mm -hmm. incarnated to teach us how to navigate through Kali Yuga. Mm -hmm. So so the tools are there already. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. And 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 his name in Sanskrit mm -hmm. is called Krishna. Mm -hmm. But the meaning of his name mm -hmm. from Sanskrit to English mm -hmm. means all attractive. Mm -hmm. So don't you think the Supreme God should be all attractive? attractive. So if I'm referring to Krishna, mm -hmm. I rather refer to him from here on as mm -hmm. all, attractive, all attractive. So he can be equally accepted because Krishna mm -hmm. uh, sounds like an Indian name. Yeah. You understand? Yes, yes. So we'll use God when he when he incarnated five thousand years ago. So mm -hmm. so so let's just understand God. Oh, okay. If God created an infinite amount of souls mm -hmm. in a material universe, mm -hmm. will he hide somewhere in the sky, or will he come down to his people timelessly? and try to set them straight in the creation that he has created. You think he would want you to close Hide. your eyes and mm. look up? Would your mother would want to do that, give birth to you, and then go duck somewhere mm. where you don't know how she looks, what she looks like? Mm. Or would your mother, after giving birth to you, mm -hmm. would want an association with you? Mm -hmm. you, you, are, well, you are reminding me of, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, of yeah. what Shembe, the second Shembe said, uh, Lord J.T. Shembe. He said, what's the use of a God who is living in the sky? Or what good purpose does he serve? Humanity. Mm -hmm. Because he's hiding up there. Why, and wha <laughs> why, why, would be, why would we be his children? Mm -hmm. mm. Why would we deserve to be his children of a father who is mysterious, hiding. Yeah, exactly. who is hiding. Mm. So, so when we say that the all-attractive Supreme Lord mm -hmm. was here mm -hmm. 5,000 years ago, all right. we must also prove it scientifically. Mm. Okay. Because okay. the human mind mm -hmm. does not want to accept what mm. it has been brainwashed into mm. accepting for so many cycles of lifetimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right? All right. So okay. Whenever you want to stop me, you can stop me and then I'll continue. I know you're running a program. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we, All right. We, 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 we just uh, seconds until it's 7 o'clock. We have to go for a break. For a break okay. Now, yes. All Thank right. you so much. Um, we'll no, continue. It's, it's getting very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I have my notes in here. And I'm sure that maybe a listener can ha even have some questions uh, regarding uh, our topic uh, today. Uh, Tabo, the word that I was looking for was eschatology, um, which I'm not sure if it's the same thing or a different thing, because in Christianity they're talking more about eschatology. I'm not sure. Okay, Tabo is shaking his head like, no, two different things. Okay, thank you so much, Tabo. Now, Tanjo, we are talking about the Kali Yuga, the last days. We have... Uh, uh, the guru, guruji, uh, in studio uh, to, to tonight. This is when I was after eight o'clock. So, quickly, I want just want to explain. The state president of South Africa will be absolutely useless if he doesn't have a deputy president. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't have a working committee doesn't have a NEC, mm. doesn't have ministers, doesn't have premiers, and doesn't have councillors, him sitting alone there, he won't be able to rule this country. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the Supreme Lord, although different from the President, but for the maintenance of this universe, he has 330 million cosmic administrators. Mm. All right. 
He has, has a working administrators. Yes. He has a working committee. Mm -hmm. Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. These are san Sanskrit words. Mm -hmm. uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Vishnu mm -hmm. and Shiva. Shiva means all auspicious. Mm -hmm. Brahma is the creator. Mm -hmm. And uh, Vishnu means all pervading. Okay. So the Supreme Lord creates initially the material universe. The secondary creator of the material universe is Brahma. Mm -hmm. Then Lord Vishnu maintains it mm -hmm. and at dissolution Lord Shiva destroys it. So that's the working committee. Beneath the working committee there's, there's this administrator called Indra mm -hmm. and he's the head of administration and under him are all these cosmic administrators. So okay. I'm teaching you, don't go to the counselor. Mm -hmm. The counselor can only has mandate to give you mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the premier. Premier has mandate to give you so much. Mm -hmm. Go to the Supreme Lord. He can fulfill all whatever you need. Mm -hmm. So this is a category of the universe and Sanatan Dharmis should be worshipping one Supreme Lord. But through colonization, mm -hmm. uh, some worship the, the counselors, some are worshipping the premiers, mm. some are worshipping differently. This is why you see now different, different gods yes, now. But there's one creator God mm. and the rest are cosmic administrators. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Koro. All right, so we are now here oh, one minute after 8 o'clock. Sasa e breaking as a way coming back with your comments on a far and dialog a song of selling a panje on WhatsApp so six eight seven six four double nine six nine Sabuya. But it has come and risen together. This is also like so the truth at what matters, especially in this time is Pilaxon. And one thing I love about everybody else is that we agree on one thing. Number one, we do agree we do agree on the Supreme Lord that we have one God. Two, we do agree that we are living in the last days, the Kali Yoga. We all agree in that. So why should we be different? And why it's not easy and come reason together? Okay, once again, we're back. Welcome back, Guruji. <laughs> you talked about very interesting things. And before we go to the break, you were just mentioning uh, Krishna. And you, you said, um, I'm not sure if I've, 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 I've heard you clearly, if you say that uh, the Supreme Lord reincarnated. Did I hear that correctly? Ne? Yes. How did that happen? If you can just clarify, because I had uh, in my mind, you know, uh, I had a question that how, how, if the Supreme Lord came and reincarnated as Krishna, Okay. Okay. Yes. So the Supreme Lord lives in his own spiritual abode mm -hmm. in Sanskrit called Vaikunt. Mm -hmm. Vaikunta means a place of no anxiety. Okay. So it would mean that it will be a place of absolute bliss and that is where the Supreme Lord resides all the time. Mm -hmm. When there is a decline in righteousness. Okay. When the demonic forces start overpowering mm -hmm. the divine forces, mm -hmm. then the Lord takes his birth amongst man mm -hmm. in a similar body like man's but with a transcendental body. Mm -hmm. So he won't have these five bodies that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. His entire body will be made of the soul force. But he mm. will look like an ordinary man, mm. he will live like an ordinary man, mm. and he'll teach righteousness. Okay. So 5,000 years ago, mm -hmm. there came a point when the divine forces were being crushed by the non-divine forces, mm -hmm. then the Lord took his birth. Okay. Oh, all right. Now I understand. 
uh, maybe that's the topic for another day, just to go deeper on that, because now I'm, I'm having questions in my head. Uh, how is Krishna differs to what we know is Jesus? Because I've grown with the Christianity. Or oh, is it the same person that you're talking about? How the giving birth was the man and, and the woman? You know, I'm having questions. But let's just let's come back for now. And okay, then if I, yes. whilst, whilst you have your question, just mm -hmm. to pacify yes. some of your questions, mm -hmm. uh, there are over 40 similarities in the birth of Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm, and Lord mm -hmm, Krishna. Mm -hmm. yes. So 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 we'll take it on another topic where we'll we we will show the parallels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't want to mm -hmm. I want you to understand it as parallels. Otherwise mm -hmm. we're going to cause corruption in this okay, world I understand. of ours. All right. right. Let's come back to Kalyun. <laughs> we all agree that we are living in the last days. Uh, as as humankind, as human beings, you know. Uh, the, 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 that is so common. Now, you've stated that in, in Kali Yoga, uh, the, the demonic and the divine, now they can live in, in, one, sep in, one, in the same person. In the same uh, person. You've, you've mentioned uh, an example, a bipolar, and beside the bipolar, there are a lot of other mental illnesses and Multipolar. mental... At, at diseases that I hear, you know, uh, some people are, are very angry. We have now anger management, um, and 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 uh, in Ubuntu, Tabarunj, Ubuntu, what is Ubuntu? Humanity, humanity. Uh, most people they seem to, to, to lost what we call humanity. You know, it's so easy to do a bad thing to another person, it's so, it's so easy to hold grudges, it's so easy to hate another human being. Is that the cause of uh, the demonic living in the same body as with divine? Yes. And the underlying factor, the substratum mm. of this entire universe mm. will be karma. Mm. Okay. So, karma will dictate in every individual mm -hmm. the behavior of that particular individual. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, so, it is predestined it comes from an, another lifetime. How you behave in this lifetime mm -hmm. will determine your human body the next lifetime and mm -hmm. all your relations on that next lifetime. lifetime yeah. so, so that I am Indian mm. is because of my karma. That you are black is mm. because of your karma. That mm. you are white is because... Of, there's a perfect management system. Mm. If God can create this one universe, mm. look at the stars, look at the planetary system, look mm. at everything in this universe. Mm. If any of the planets mm. revolve in a time scale of minus one second, mm. then this entire system will collapse. Mm. Mathematically, everything in this planet is absolute. Mm. So similarly, for every living entity, and mm -hmm. every human being, mm -hmm. your creation have to be absolute. You sitting there today, Queen, mm -hmm. and you interviewing me as the Guru mm -hmm. is your destiny. Mm -hmm. When you was born, this was already computed mm -hmm. in your causal body mm -hmm. that on this date and this time, you will be interviewing a Guru. Nothing is a coincident. Coincident mm -hmm. is a is a valueless word. Mm -hmm. Everything is God incident. Yeah. Whether it is good or whether it is bad, it mm -hmm. depends on your karma, it depends on your merit. But God controls everything. And I just want to give clarity. Mm -hmm. So I've stated within the region of my heart, mm -hmm. the real me, the soul, mm -hmm. resides. Mm -hmm. And inside the soul uh -huh. resides the Supreme Lord. All right. So the Supreme Lord lives externally in Vaikuntha and lives internally in your soul. Uh -huh. Whilst living in your soul, uh -huh. he drives this body through its destination perfectly, uh -huh. which means that whatever is programmed in your causal body as karma for this lifetime. All right. 
is driven personally by the Supreme Lord himself. Oh, oh, okay. So he is in control of everything and everyone's life. Yes. Mm. And mm. all we need to do mm. is just look up to him. Mm -hmm. This is our problem. Mm -hmm. We're looking for God in all the wrong places. Ish. When he's living right inside our inner being, mm. he lives inside our soul. Mm. Mm, 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 that's powerful. Now you talked of the tools that we were given, the tools of how to live in this Kali Yuga, age or stage or times. Now if maybe we can just dwell on the tools so that I know that um, I'm in the right path because I don't want to end up uh, doing the wrong things, especially in these times. Okay, Queen, but before I go there, I just want to okay. complete that aspect before we went into break right. when I said that we must evidentially prove that Lord Krishna was was, yes. wa okay. was yes. around. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so about 15 years ago mm -hmm. uh, the Indian government sent uh, 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 divers mm -hmm. uh, at a outside its coastline, mm -hmm. city of Dwarika. So they, the divers went deep and they found the, the exact city as it was described in the Mahabharata. Oh. And when Lord Sri Krishna left, mm -hmm. he submerged that city. So in, in the Mahabharata, it is stated that Lord Sri Krishna submerged mm -hmm. the city of Dwarika before he left and went back to Vaikund. Mm -hmm. And then about 15 or 20 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, these, these divers have a name. Uh, uh, you're going to find it uh, later, but uh, I'm not too familiar with the name. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. went down and they found artifacts mm -hmm which they brought up and carbon dated mm -hmm. and those artifacts are more than 10,000 years. Oh. So, so Lord Sri Krishna was here mm -hmm. uh, 5,000 years ago. Right. He submerged the city of Dwarika. Mm -hmm. It is existent today. Wow. So it is 100% that the Mahabharata took place mm -hmm. and the Supreme Lord was here 5,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This cannot be questioned Mm, mm. Uh, because whatever was stated in the Mahabharata was mm -hmm. written 5,000 years ago mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it was found uh, uh, recently mm, mm. Uh, by the Indian government. So, mm -hmm. so all of these truths are there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did I say uh, 15... I think 15 to 20 years ago this was found, all right? Okay. You can okay. just Google it and uh, cross-check and fact-find. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So this is the confidence that our humanity must have. Mm -hmm. All right. That, that yes, 5,000 years ago, God did mm -hmm. come down to earth. Mm -hmm. He did leave a message, mm -hmm. and this message was not... Mm -hmm. not for Indians of India, mm -hmm. it was for humanity. And his message is in 700 verses of the Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, just for your listeners again, before I, uh, before I go further, mm -hmm. I had two high-profile Christian uh, individuals that came to my ashram, mm -hmm. uh, both of them white. Mm -hmm and they wanted to be converted mm. to Hinduism. Okay. There is no such thing. You can't be converted. You're already a Sanatan mm -hmm. Dharmi. All right. <laughs> you you yeah. can't be converted. Mm. So I told them that if you are in a church, mm -hmm. go and re-engage with your part, uh, pastor. If you don't, if that pastor is not good enough, go mm -hmm. and find another church but retain your Christian identity. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Uh, both white, uh, they both gone back mm -hmm. 
-hmm. I think uh, both the problems have been solved. Mm -hmm. uh, so I injected spirituality into them mm -hmm. because Sanatana Dharma is a science mm -hmm. and I send them back to the religion. So mm -hmm. I'm not here to convert your listeners now mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. a religion, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'm converting their mindset right. into a scientific way of mm -hmm. living. You mm -hmm. are reminding. I'm reminding. Mm -hmm. Tapping into mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. DNA. I'm tapping, soul. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Okay. Now, it's, 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 it's clearly, and uh, with that, I think it's not going to be much a problem with as long as any listener, you know, to yeah. what um, Guru just said right now. Because these are two different aspects. Now, we know that the religion is religion, and so and being part of the organization, maybe the Christian organization, is different from, from, from the truth. Uh, that, that, that is clear, and especially you are, you are stating that it's scientific, uh, the truth that we are speaking about. So you, it's not that the Guruji is here to convert you. Would ah, man, the citizens of my Hindu know I go collapse, but the truth that is here and and clear and was here years and thousands of years ago, just reminding you as a as as a person or oh, as a human being who you are. I, I love the fact that we are all equal. We are all the same within. It's just this um, uh, this this last layer, the cross. <laughs> the cross body that we are differ to, but everything else inside us, it's exactly the same. Whether Indian, whether black, whether any other race, whether any other religion that you choose, you know, we are all the same. All right then, now let's come back uh, with the tools now of living in this, in this time, in this age, in this era. Okay, so... If you're a Christian, you're right. don't be a Sunday Christian. Mm. Yeah. Every day Christian. Every day Christian, not just a Sunday Christian. Christian. Try and follow their system of praying. Mm -hmm. Because they do it the best. Mm -hmm. They pray five times a day, every, every day. day for the rest of their lives. Mm. So if you're a Christian, Remember the righteousness of the Bible every day, mm -hmm. not only on Sundays. Mm -hmm. That's the tool mm -hmm. that's going to protect you mm -hmm. from Kali Yuga. Mm -hmm. The only thing mm -hmm. that the demon is afraid of mm -hmm. is your association with the Supreme Lord. Mm -hmm. There is no other insurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you ignite the Supreme Lord within you. Mm -hmm. Then you converse with the Supreme Lord all the time. He's the witness. He's witnessing all your actions. Mm -hmm. And if you can refrain and conform, mm -hmm. He's watching you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is the most important tool. Mm -hmm. Serve the Supreme Lord. And you can only serve the Supreme Lord Queen, not directly, because He has everything. Mm -hmm. By serving His humanity, like what we are doing here today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're seated here today, and we're broadcasting to your listeners, mm -hmm. and we're serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. Other people will serve the Lord with hot meals, or serve the humanity with groceries, with mm -hmm. meals. Our capacity, the tools God has given us to serve humanity mm. is this radio mm. program. Mm. 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 And if you serve the Lord mm -hmm. through humanity, mm -hmm. then your insurance mm -hmm. in Kalyug, mm -hmm. you won't feel this is Kalyug. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Winter is equal to everyone in South <coughs> Africa, yes? True. But those that have heaters, will never feel winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Summer mm -hmm. is equal to everyone. Those who have air conditioners, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your air conditioner and your heater mm -hmm. is the Supreme Lord. Mm -hmm. And if you have the Supreme Lord by your side, mm -hmm. you won't feel 
Satyug, you won't feel Treta Yug, you won't feel Dwapara Yug, mm. and definitely you won't feel Kali Yug. Mm. Mm. Right, so Eba, the Supreme Lord by your side. And I like the fact that Uti Guru serve humanity like we are doing. You can just see from from where you are, there is something that you can do uh, to, 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 to other, like humanity, Ubuntu, that's what we call it. And so that, that is just one word or things that you have to do in order to say, I am serving you. And the most important fact that you've mentioned is by praying. We can just copy, uh, and again, we're not saying that people should be, should be Muslims, but let's just copy how they pray, five times a day, every day. Tabo Amana Zareta, Ushamba, do you pray like five times a day? I know that you have Vuganati. I'm not sure if there are, are other stages of prayer every day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. You got three. Three, three main, main, main prayers. prayers. Okay. Yeah. But all in all, uh, there are five. There are five. Yeah, but there are three main, oh. main prayers. But uh, 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 I've been sitting in this, in this class <laughs> and uh, listening, listening attentively to our guru here. Yeah, I like what you're saying uh, when you say it's in seven humanity. But something I find that uh, Indians mostly do is also like, uh, I, I want to know the importance of protecting nature. You know, Indians, you find Indians, wherever you find them, even here in Ananda, I, can, I could tell you this. This house. Uh, this house, and in, this was an Indian Indian's house. house. Uh, this was an Indian house, although there are Africans living now. Mm -hmm. Simply by just identifying by the mango trees, the lemons, and whatever they plant, wherever they are, they will plant these trees in their yards, uh, which are mostly fruit, 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 fruit trees, avocados, whatever. Uh, most of us, uh, you, 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 we buy a plot, we cut down trees. Hey, these trees are going to bring snakes to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> what the, the, the other nations, they plant trees. The importance of protecting nature, uh, whether it's animals or, 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 or plants, or the importance of planting trees. Hmm. Okay, so firstly, Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One word synonymous with the Vedas. So, if in the Vedas, I find humanity, it's mm -hmm. there throughout. And Ubuntu is that same instruction. Mm -hmm. There's no difference. And, and the underlying, the substratum of the Vedas is Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is why I'm saying mm -hmm. we need to break these, these fabricated barriers. Mm -hmm where we were made separate in South Africa, specifically the apartheid system mm, broke, mm, broke mm. us down and, and, and separated us. But you'll see there's a natural love between, between all the races. Mm -hmm. When you put them in a room, and I've tested this at the ashram on many occasions, that love is natural. Yeah. And that love that exudes naturally is the love of God. The problem is the system. Yeah, not the, the problem people. is the system. <laughs> so today there was a heavy rain. Mm -hmm. uh, during my service there was a heavy rain. Mm -hmm. But I said no matter how heavy the rain is, I am going to be at this station today. Yeah. Because nothing must impede mm -hmm. my attempt to bring us together. Yeah. And that's humanity. That's mm -hmm. Ubuntu. The crown Ubuntu mm -hmm. must be worn by every human being. Mm. So look, as much as you say you've been robbed and raped mm -hmm. by, by 
the Western and the colonizers, mm -hmm. Ubuntu could not be taken out of an African. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is a soul force. Mm -hmm. It is not on the gross side. It mm -hmm. is in the spiritual side. Mm -hmm. And nobody can mm -hmm. rob your spirituality. Mm -hmm. No matter how they can suppress you, mm -hmm. how they violate you, how they transgress you materially, mm -hmm. the retention of your spirituality will always be secured by the Supreme Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think they know that they failed there in, uh, in suppressing Ubuntu. That's why they flood us with all this entertainment to keep us busy with things that are useless. That are useless to, to, to uh, That's us. why there's so mm. many taverns, you find uh, sports, uh, programs on TV. So people are just occupied by useless things because now mm -hmm. they have to, they, they, they shouldn't realize who they are. They shouldn't realize all, all these things that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, our biggest enemy or the, the, the tools that the devil is using now. Mm -hmm. Things like social media, uh, so social media is the worst. Yeah, I mm. think it's good now that uh, we are also using the same tool. The like same tool. What we are doing now, we are recording live, mm -hmm. on <laughs> putting on the media. same. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and and uh, uh, I am not afraid afraid to fight the demons on social mm -hmm. media. If mm -hmm. you find me, Tabo, you'll see mm -hmm. I'm in a big fight. I'm mm -hmm. tackling, and they are tackling us for. Uh, we are tackling them, mm -hmm. but ultimately we are going to win. Yes. We must yes. win because on our side, we are fully confident of the Supreme Lord. Mm. Mm. And nobody mm. can shake our confidence. Mm. So it is right. It is part of my program, uh -huh. social media, to get into there and eke out all these mm -hmm. demonic forces. One day, mm -hmm. all the social media platforms mm -hmm. will be promoting righteousness. Yes. If yes. not in my lifetime, I'm mm -hmm. planting the seed. Mm, okay. Guruji, yeah. it's, it's, it's always an honor of having you in studio. I'm learning so much already. Now, as we are in this, uh, the, the Kali Yuka stages, uh, the question is, uh, once, because we are left with, I'm not sure, but you said about 400,000 years, once that is over, what's going to happen? Does, does the times are just going to start all over again? Or is there another era that is coming up that we have no clue about at the time? Okay, Queen. So let let me use you. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to come back, mm -hmm. or if you want to leave this material universe, mm -hmm. the choice is yours. Mm -hmm. If you get into self-realization, mm -hmm. which leads you to God-realization, mm -hmm. then this will be your last material birth. Oh. So when you close your eyes, you okay. immediately go into the domain of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you live with Him in absolute bliss mm -hmm. for the rest of your eternal life. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. life here is temporary, yes, yes, but yes. life with the Supreme Lord or our soul is mm -hmm. eternal. Okay. okay. For those that do not or do not have merits yet, because everything is karma-based, mm -hmm. and the material universes have to exist. Mm -hmm. uh, after 427,000 years, the incarnation of the Supreme Lord called Kalki, K-A-L-K-I. Mm -hmm. Kalki. Kalki. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. His parents are already documented he is already around in, in a spiritual form. Mm -hmm. He will come and end Kali Yuga. Okay. Then we'll get into Sat Yuga again. Oh, okay. And this happens cyclically mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. up until 155 trillion, 40 billion years have elapsed. Then this creation will go into rest. Okay. It will go into rest for 311 trillion, 40 billion years, and after that, it will start all over again. Mm. Oh, okay. So, oh, wow, all right. 
Uh, so it's so helped, our, our yeah. mission is to keep on striving for righteousness, for righteousness yes. all yes. the time. And whilst we're doing that, those that evolve spiritually, mm -hmm. this is the last light. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a material person, As a material person. Mm. the soul, when it leaves, it lands in the domain mm -hmm. of the Supreme Lord. Because there's no reason now to come back. You know, because your karmas are, are done. Are done. Mm. Mm. So well, although karmas are beginningless, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they have an expiry date, and that expiry date is dependent on you. Mm. Whether you want to expire it in this lifetime, mm. or you want to enjoy the Some sensual kind of luxuries of this material universe, yeah. it's entirely, you have this independent choice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the time in every mm -hmm. lifetime. Mm. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 uh, when the karma expires, mm. you don't come back. There's no reason to be here because <laughs> this is, this material universe is based on karma. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is that. why, that, that means all the prophets, all the gurus, they are here to teach us that. So yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And the relationship between, between all the gurus, all the prophets, all the saints, Mm -hmm. is eternal. Mm -hmm. So when I take my birth timelessly, all my disciples take their birth with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they come through to the system mm -hmm. uh, and disciples are not only righteous. Disciples mm -hmm. are both unrighteous mm -hmm. and righteous. So mm -hmm. the righteous disciples will stick around, the unrighteous disciples will stick around for a while and in order to leave, they will become a problem, they'll become demonic and they'll mm. leave. So they'll attack mm -hmm. me. I expect 75% of all my disciples that enter the ashram to leave because mm -hmm. that's what the merits allow. So some will come as a righteous di disciple and mm -hmm. some will come as a demonic disciple. Mm -hmm. But they all belong to me. Mm -hmm. And that evolution continues mm -hmm. until the demonic become righteous. righteous. Uh -huh. and then live through the system. I, I wish pastors had this mentality or knew this. They wouldn't worry That's so much about, about people keeping, leaving. Keeping your church, you know, yeah. large numbers, yeah. and then they worry if ever, now you hear of you've, you've, you, the, the lessons you, you've taught me, uh, and then as a pastor, now I have to go and, and continue with what you've taught me to uh, some other community then most in Christianity is a fight, you know. Uh, there are also other uh, names that uh, we used to call others that they, they feel now that they've, um, maybe they've learned enough that then they can go and teach other or, or continue with the, the, the gospel of truth to other, pe to other human beings. Maybe, maybe the problem is because the church is run like a business now. It's so. Yeah, the, 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 the people are more like customers then. <laughs> then just then be people who need enough. their souls to be saved. Yeah, my my advice would be mm -hmm. for for Africans mm -hmm. to go back mm -hmm. to their culture. Okay. And the truth is in there. The truth is in there. Mm. In their culture, whatever we did traditionally before the Bible came around. Mm, mm, mm. Go and find that truth. Which, which was the way of life? Which was the way of life? And then you'll find that the question you put to mm, me, mm. there's mango trees, mm. mm -hmm. apple trees, mm -hmm. all of that is in African culture. Mm -hmm. We all live the same. Mm -hmm. And I'm, again, I'm going to give you some evidence. Quickly, I mm -hmm. don't know, the time not, is behind can, me. Yeah, no, no, that's right. uh, you still have time. The Sen community, mm -hmm. I met a, a prince mm -hmm. and, he, and he found some documents. Yes. And when I looked at the documents, I found they worship exactly the same Supreme God and his cosmic administrators mm -hmm. that we worship. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. And that's, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. information from 20,000 to mm -hmm. 200,000. Then when we went further, mm -hmm. we found that the same sand community mm -hmm. 
traveled from Africa to India. Mm, mm. I, I was about to say that uh, when you say Africans must go back to their culture, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we find ourselves in the Vedas. Mm. This that's, is uh, this what is what I exactly. said right at the beginning. Ubuntu and the Vedas yeah. is the same. same thing. Is the same. <laughs> so it's imperative that we read the Vedas. We, mm. we, we, mm. we must know. Yes, and yeah. this is why I've asked you, whenever you have a slot for me, mm -hmm. I am alive. You don't have to go on Google. Yeah. <laughs> and then and, and your your listeners can contact mm, mm. and we can fight. Not mm. everything I'm saying is palatable. Some people will be upset that there's mm. a guru coming in trying to change mm -hmm, mm -hmm. our mindset and our ways mm -hmm. of life. So mm -hmm. it's a it's a process. Mm -hmm. uh, this engagement is a, it's a process. process. Oh, I so so I've been nominated by God mm -hmm. for oneness. Right. And in South Africa, you know, you all are radio personalities, mm -hmm. that the oneness program that I am running mm -hmm. is the most actuated. There is no other oneness program in this country. Mm -hmm. Tabo, you know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand, you can affirm. Mm -hmm. Because those are window-dressed oneness for, for newspapers and for some NGOs mm -hmm. and for some religious organizations mm -hmm. to show we are one. In my oneness program, we are living oneness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is why you enjoyed last week. Yes. Uh, why mm. Tabo and I have connected. Tabo and I connected spiritually. Right. He didn't have words. And I think right up to today, <laughs> mm -hmm. he cannot describe with words yeah. our connection. Yes. Because God has a plan. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you are part of the plan. Tabo yeah. is part of the plan. Mm -hmm. I am part of this plan. This mm. oneness is the real thing. Mm. Mm. And we can take it to levels unfathomable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by those that look at us differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can only do it practically. I can't do this from Radio Lotus. Mm -hmm. mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then it's a window dressing. Yeah. I have to come into this domain. All right. And I have to unleash uh -huh. Uh -huh. atomic bombs mm. on untruths mm. so that we can start this revolution. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oneness must be a revolution. Uh -huh. Wherever we meet in the street, we must hug, uh -huh. we must shake hands, uh -huh. and we must look at each other uh -huh. as one. Yes. And this is the reason I'm seated here in your studio today yes. to boot out mm -hmm. that slave mentality. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. To boot out the slave mm -hmm. mentality. An African is equal to an Indian, is mm -hmm. equal to a colored, is equal mm -hmm. to a white. Mm -hmm. There is not even one iota mm -hmm. of difference. Mm -hmm. And this is what our programs, whenever we meet, we should inject into our country. We start first here yeah, in Durban, uh -huh. and then we take it to our province, yeah. and eventually we take it to our country, uh -huh. but our main goal will be Africa. I hope in my lifetime uh -huh. I can conclude. I'm an African, uh -huh. and, and, and this is where God placed me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God does not make mistakes. There's uh -huh. millions of ashrams in India. If right. God wanted yes. me to yes. do my work in India, <laughs> yeah. he would have placed me. Yeah. yeah. While I'm listening to you, uh, the problem is not the people per se. Mm -hmm. It's the system that was put into. Uh, it's a program because even apartheid, it's a system. Mm -hmm. uh, it's there to divide people. All we need to do is identify this divisive system and know how to beat it. Because once we break down the system, we are all the same. But it's just this system in between that tells it. Now you're better than this one. And some people are still stuck in the system. Uh -huh. We crumble the system, everything will be fine. Well, the only people that can really crumble the system is not politicians, it's religious leaders. Because this right. system... Are running the system. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. the religious leaders are running the system. Uh -huh. So if we get together like this, we continue affiliating... We make our oneness program bigger and better and bigger and better. 
we can start in Inanda. Inanda has an interface. Uh, I, I have somebody on my WhatsApp from the Inanda interface. Uh -huh. If I can come, start coming to his programs, we need to be seen in church, in mosque. We need to physically enter these places of worship and give our little message. Uh -huh. mm. You know, and, 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 and preach the truth. Mm. Terrible. And in everything that I, uh, we are learning today, um, I'm, fi I'm, I'm, I'm finding out the truth of, um, of the true self, true identity. I think that's the key is in, in, in order to live righteous life in this Kali Yuk, in this, in, in these last days. Once you find the true, the true self, as, as an African, I, I believe that you'll be able to, 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 to be in line with the Supreme Lord. And, and there's a certain time that you've called the Guru, um, true identity of, of yourself. And once you become realization, it automatically the truth, because it's engraved in your soul, it's in there. And all the other demonic aspects will be too quickly to, to be... What can I say, Tabo? Eliminated. Eliminated. And then automatically, righteousness will become part of your life. That's what I believe. So the truth is that we have to go back to the way of life. And if you study the, the uh, religions like Muslim, like Nazareth, Shembe, uh, those, those are the religions that I know that they can, if, if you study them correctly, you know, you find that, oh, this is, this is the way of life. In fact, this is the way of life more than the religion that we are taught. Ne? Uh, like, how you're supposed to live as, 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 as a person. What type of food that you're supposed to eat. The things that we call amasi or tabo. Uh, it's just that uh, right now, the system uh, have there's now a, co a confusion of we call we call them guru amasigo and okay. and then and, and then the, the norms you know uh, but the true the way of life as a person you know the the, the the cleanliness to be clean everything in line once we, we once we, we we're able to go back there then I, I don't see anything else that can stop us from the finding out the true identity of ourselves and god is waiting for you God is written. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, such a saffron and I'm trying. The guru now I'm worried as much as it's not part of the program, ne? But I'm worried as um there are other ashrams as well as in, 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 in South Africa as well. Uh and your your teachings are are, are are different. Are much more different than what we normally had. You know, so I'm just, I'm curious of finding out how um, in the community of what we, what, what I knew as Hinduism, how are they receiving you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just curious. Deliberately, I did not associate myself with, with anyone. Mm -hmm. I have a mission mm -hmm. and this mission won't be user friendly mm -hmm. with a whole lot of people okay yeah. All right? uh, <laughs> god has given different gurus different missions mm -hmm. and my mission is to bring the world together all right all the races all the religions mm -hmm. all the politicians mm -hmm. civil society mm -hmm. and show them that we can coexist so my job is to skin humanity mm -hmm. All right. And let them see they are the same. Mm. Mm. So I'm not going to be liked by everybody because I'm putting you in a big pot of boiling water mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. and I'm removing that skin. Yes. Then I'm placing you there and I'm doing it to the next person and I'm mm -hmm. placing it next to the next person mm -hmm. and you've seen that every body, even the body is the same. Mm -hmm. All the organs are the same. Are the same. Everything. Everything is the same. It's mm. just this outer skin. Mm. Mm. And then... Mm. I don't think people like to be skinned. Mm. Even even those Sanatan Dharmis, my, my, my brothers, mm -hmm. uh, but nobody is troubling me from, from the spiritual side. Mm. 
-hmm. because I'm speaking the absolute truth. Yeah. In the Rig Veda, the very, 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 very first scripture on this earth, mm -hmm. it states that we are one diverse family. Mm. There's a verdict injunction, there's a law mm -hmm. that humanity is one diverse family. Mm. So it's there since inception and that is all I am doing. Mm -hmm. I'm promoting that oneness. diversity, oneness in unity. Before, because I think we're almost reaching 8 o'clock now mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I know our listeners have a lot to say. Uh, when you, you say that there's good and evil within us at this uh, season or this mm. age, should we strive to get rid of the evil or we should seek the balance? No, my instructions, yeah, my instructions would be go to religious institutions. And by going to relig religious institutions, they have a natural jig. Mm. And as you continue going into these religious washing machines, and this jig will clean you up completely. Yeah. All okay. right. Thank mm. you. We are only left with five minutes uh, before eight o'clock, as the time is 22nd of October 2023. And tonight we are honored by Guruji. And then I'm which means that we are living in the last days. That's what they used to say. So we all agree uh, in, in that thing, and, in, and, and we can all agree. Um, if if you can see how humanity is in these days, and Guruji has mentioned that um, with the messages of Pila, especially with the Satyu, Satyu Guruji, it was that at uh, the times where the dinosaurs lived, yes, and Satyu, yes, so there's evidence of, of Satyu as mm -hmm. well. That is why these creatures were so huge because mm -hmm. man lived for a thousand years, mm -hmm. and he was very, very huge. He was mm -hmm. gigantic. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, only in Satyu, in, in Treta and Prapara. They kept dropping they kept proportionally. Dropping. We are the smallest. Oh. Okay. We are the okay, smallest, smallest creatures in Kali Yuga. We are shrunk. And even with the years that we live on We Earth. shrunk. And even our memory, our brains, everything mm -hmm. is diminished in Kali Yuga. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. And there's evidence of all that. that Whatever is, I'm there saying, there is, there is, there is, there is giant footprints. Yes, yes, everything is all over. Yeah, so in the different yugas, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. our size was proportionately different mm -hmm. to our ages. Okay, all right, I see. All right, uh, very, very, very interesting. I'm um, Mema to be part of the show. Call WhatsApp if you have any questions or any comments. The WhatsApp number is 068. Seven six four double nine six nine zero six eight seven six four double nine six nine. That our WhatsApp line that you can send your comment, or you can even make a V and a voice note. Uh, please, when making a voice note, in Nala Mefisa Umsarazo at the background, so that the Umsin don't get used to pass a message. Here in studio, Masasi Lalivi Enya. Okay, then on Facebook page, Nanda eighty eight point four FM, as well as on our Facebook. Group at the Asilum Biseni. There's also a Uguru G. He is um, Holiness. O Kamga Lapanage, we Ashrami Kurangalapa. The reserve. The reserve. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'd get there. <laughs> but I'd get there. Guys, um, the, let, let's just engage. Uh, with this oneness movement, uh, this program, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a 
uh, the program will be announced last is Sophia Kone and school Melizin to now in a in a deeper level where you can uh Guruji, whenever that happens, is it allowed you to raise a hand and ask questions or depending on the program? Okay, I can hear you nodding. <laughs> so I'd say yes, that'd be allowed. So if is if my program now they're taking to action. Uh, we, including you, my listener, we have to come forward and avail ourselves and say, here we are. Yeah, but we, we do want this truth. This is and know the true identity of ourselves. You understand? So I think that is so important. Now I'm going to your comments on WhatsApp, your VNs, Facebook page, and at 8.5 FM. Facebook group as long saying it. WhatsApp 068 764 uh, Where do I start? Uh, uh, I start uh, 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 uh-huh. Magic fire is oh, lava buzz wood. Start a bone. Look by legging, which it was twenty salem, cold a cozy wage. Isn't as old was. I do good. A mobby system is a kind of very sugar and mobby as a good massacre. Sangan. It's a song I've been esteemed. Salabat about a snook cellular, no mobber's pet. Kanga, mobber's to be a sea mad. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'm willing to go to my comments because your time now. I'm going to start here. Sun born and ninja. I see a feel that long time I got a tenant. Oh, good, spiritual. So I think we connect her Nabando back a spiritual. I don't think Uguti <coughs> Angaba Angaba ye yam Ungoba uh, ye no Ukobo Laku spiritual naye wase and so Ugubo Fuso Laku Ungoba spiritual. A is swept by Ungaba Uguti men Loku Ugumo Nembeza Nembeza. Watch what what is where a guide in a couple of laws we cause with Kalukuro, Lasso, Guazo, or Condesses or Gushe, no good, then again, Masse, Kulunye, Lage, Oba Mansu, a cake, Kuba, Guyamo, which you could tell the same thing, same thing. Okay, uh, Tabo, please correct me if I'm wrong, is resi residing or is within your conscience to guide you and your ways. Uh, would you agree to the listener that? Okay, I stated that the Supreme Lord lives within, within the soul, the soul yes. and the soul mm. is the composition of consciousness. Mm, yes. Yeah, oh. I, I, I also <laughs> I, I had a yeah, problem yeah. with this caller because the caller is like is disputing what you, you were saying, but he's repeating the very, the very same, same thing, thing you that said. the Buddha is saying. Mm, so now, he... <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, because it's saying the same thing. My mind is saying that I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a 
the mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thank you with uh, thank you with the true information. Salam Guru. Uh, what is salam mean? I, that is peace, peace, peace be upon you. Uh, <laughs> what is peace, 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 peace be oh, upon you. You see, yeah. I think let it do fun and Arab, I send this me. Arab. Okay, it's Arab. Yeah. So now we say Namaste. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Right. Oh. 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 Kahle kahle, unga sokwa zi uze ushole wenu usungu bani. Unga kwa zi uze impilu ingi. Uipate ngobnono na ngobtuli. Ngoba uma ngsata mpega. According to my slow here, I have needs. Uke ngube nye self-actualization. Ube nye esteem. Ube nye pirungness and love. Uke ngube nye safety, protection and security. Uzo valangani ke physiological. Mubakuto according to Maslow theory of needs. Munye pele umundo always uza achieve self actualization. Lo gwa ba gwa umahat makang. Umanjuna singbalo le i i bonelo self actualization. Ila po u realize amatunzako and being true to yourself. Ukindo achieve e ina pisi yako. Kupindi uwe kona ni kabaga ee intata za hii self-realization. Ii ngabala kona laputi realizing oneself as the soul, realizing oneself as Sachitananda. Kwenye mtoke mba Sachitananda, yikuluma mwuzi uset, usugushi existent of truth, kandu cheat, expression and knowledge of it, kandu ananda wana, utkaza the peace you get out of it. Pindu kutike guwa na mastechi za hii self-realization ingi kubeke, kube kwa ni omnipresent consciousness and realizing oneself as the source. Upindu kutike kube is sustain of that omnipresent consciousness. Upindu kube kwa na kutike na mapats ayo is self-realization. Ugui part of knowledge, the part of inner transformation, the part of selfless action, and the part of devotion. Itawans kwa ongi lomasa skwa zikuti, isi guwa kutikubeke, kumbusa benzele. Singa kubwa kwenye pilo end, jomba kwa chakazo nukorochi. Kibonge studio, usanje lao kuzwa yao, injani sana chumtoti. Nkuwa injani mshirio tulisaka ulusi busan. Ni hambeli zetu, isaka ngumkondo. Nchi pambi lina ndege fanya nchi pambi. Pambi lenga we kuzwa. Thank you so much, usanje lao kuzwa. You've mentioned and stated very, very, very valuable points. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Tabo, I don't know if you have anything to 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 add to what Sandra Kuzwa has yeah, said. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Got Quebec. Got Quebec. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much, Guruji, for that. You know, you're born to manage. Uh, I, I think we have Tabo. This one is movement. It's going places. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings in the studio. Guru is reminding us about our originality, spiritual. In brackets, in Africa, to manipulate us, they use the religion, psychology, and psychiatrist that resulted to be inferior and consumed by demonic sacred. In bracket, hating each others, drunkards, thieves, and other irrational behavior. In that sense, we need to resurrect from death. That is not knowing ourselves. We need to know that we existed before. But we must create a good things and knowing how powerful we are. We are unbeatable and unshakable. Let us plan the good uh, or plant. I think the tea is missing there. Let us plant the good seed for the future generations. Siabonga. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, let me, um, where am I? As long as any, good evening all day at your studio. I wish to ask uh, from the Guru Uguti. If you are humble and welcoming mostly everyone, regardless of their behavior, does that cannot cause your spiritual problems? Taking from bad spirits are easily engaged itself into pure and uh, holy spirit.
thank you. That is S. Lamine Clement. Um, accommodating everyone, good or bad. Uh, does that affect you, your graciousness? Yes, it does. Uh, so, this is why I said uh, in Kali Yuga, uh -huh. both the, the divine and the demonic uh -huh. live in one person. Uh -huh. So, your engagement with the amount of demonic, demonic people uh -huh. would in, increase the negativity in you. Okay. And your engagement with the amount of divine people uh -huh. will increase the divinity in you. Okay. So oh. there is an old saying, if you sleep next to a dog that have fleas, uh -huh. you're going to get fleas. <laughs> fleas. Oh. So it would be my advice to her uh -huh. would be to pick and choose. Uh -huh. okay. Humility does not mean uh -huh. sacrifice your life. Uh -huh. mm. Humanity does not mean... Humility. She said she is a humble person. Humble, oh yes, humble person and yes, accommodates everyone. everyone. Humbleness. You yes, know, you have to... but self-preservation is more important. Okay. And she need to pick and choose uh -huh. who can evolve her. Oh, not well. who can diminish it. I understand. So that I think um, that also goes to choosing what you're listening to as, as much as there's media, there's TV, there's radio, there's social media, and there are all sort of other things, demonic, spiritual, movies, uh, can also that affect your... your the imp impelling of your mental status. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's, it's still you have to choose. What you still you're listening have to, to choose. What are you watching? Who are, who are you listening to? Type of music that you listen. What you eating? What you drinking? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Osfundi sa yonje na jenga ubunku lunku ulu. Giti mina ge nguza ge. Gisa mtabe na seti o nuti nje wa mfute ulu. Gigule ndaba le yoguzi inyama ulu. Ama rasta wana jenga bantaba tabaizi inyama ulu mtabe. Bazo finyele la ini bona kule minyaga le mtabe kubaba aisho. Umbuza ke loge engubuza. Bese ngigizu obonga kakulu ke kule oko kukuti. Lente uge. Understand. I just want to thank that for opening our mind ears or a spiritual ears with this under so that we understand ourselves and go back to our cultures because we can find the truth. We look at the book of the book of the book of the problem of the book 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 Unkulunkulo pilanga paga tigit si abonga si si nani ke all the times ke as tate esik tata yego baba all singa understandi sikbege ekele loko akusho yo jengo ba ikazi de kugu tige pele ezimi zito uzo ibeka ngenze la yosiko la ke so asik tate china loko esik tata ukbo na kutugo shiki monde te sukwa kugu platform erai sikiege ogunye ogunye God bless everyone as so banana Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um uh, uh, Fuking and that. All right, uh, okay. I wanna greet you all in studio. My concern is and the statement that says the Supreme Lord is within us. If so, meaning even the colonizers where came to rob us to kill us, to disturb us, and take all what was belonged to us. But God was just watching all that action? Question mark. I'm saying this because you have said everything that is happening among us. It's a God's plan. As we speak, we are dying because a poison that they put and the they put in the we used to eat every day. But the Supreme Lord is within us. Lastly, who must control everything in the planet uh, is not the Lord. If so, if so, then what is the good reason to let 
other human beings to abuse and kill other human beings. Does it mean he created something that he couldn't control from someone in my world? After all, uh, okay. Okay, where can I get the book? It talks about this information. Uh, what's the name of the book? Or I can only get this wonderful information from the guru. Okay. Okay. Uh, I try to read it slowly. Is that, did you get the question there? Yes. Everything else is happening. The Supreme Lord is in, is in control. Did he create it? Uh, which I can say that the demons or the, the demonic spirit, since you know the world is, there's, there's negative, there's positive. They okay. destroy us. The, now the food that we eat, everything else. Why, why can't we just uh, take that away? And then we okay. Can... All right. Very good question. Mm -hmm. I think uh, many people will be relieved. Uh, this question would be on most minds. Mm -hmm. uh, it was on my mind. Uh, mm -hmm. I was an atheist for 30 years. Mm -hmm. This type of questions make you an atheist mm -hmm. when you cannot come to terms with reality when you look all around. You're coming from there? I'm coming. 30 years wow. I was an atheist. Oh, okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Because I had this question. Yes, yes, yes. So I always qualify. Whilst mm -hmm. I was an atheist, mm -hmm. I was still a humanitarian. Yes. I had a problem with God mm -hmm. and the workings of the universe mm -hmm. and not with humanity. So the answers that are found is in the Vedas. And let's be practical mm -hmm. for the context of this question. Mm -hmm. uh, I said Lord Sri Krishna left his mortal coil mm -hmm. and went back to Vaikund 5,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. India was the most flourishing continent in the world at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The best of the best temples mm -hmm. were in India. Mm -hmm. Then came the Islamic, the mm -hmm. Mughals, mm -hmm. and they destroyed all or um, 80% of the temples. Mm -hmm. They raped mm. Sanatan Dharmis mm. and they tortured, they mm. slaughtered mm. Sanatan Dharmis, the followers of Lord Krishna. Mm. Yeah. Another a thousand years had to elapse mm. before India has now got its dignity. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yep. Okay. Now, to answer this scientifically, mm -hmm. this universe is created mm -hmm. <coughs> cyclically every 311 trillion years, trillion 40 billion years, mm -hmm. the Supreme Lord creates. Mm. The fuel for creation is karma. Oh, okay. These material universes are only created to redeem your karma. Mm. Once you redeem your karma, mm. you go back to the spiritual world of the Supreme mm -hmm. Lord. So, the soul is eternal. Mm -hmm. The body is temporary. Mm -hmm. Soul eternal, body temporary. Mm -hmm. So, if your mom puts you in a robo or your dad puts you in a robotic body mm -hmm. and and for reasons best known to him he allows your he or she allows your robotic body to be destroyed mm -hmm. is there any cruelty on his part no, because the soul is... So you, you, you are still alive, nothing mm. happened to you, you're just going to change clothes. Mm. Oh, okay. Because the soul is still intact, it's just this body. Yes, so, okay. so, so, so to, for, for better clarification, I'm saying your body as mm. it is, Queen, yes. if you wear a robotic, a robotic body yes. on it, mm -hmm. and if that robotic body is damaged permanently, taken mm. out of you, your mom and dad not going to shed a tear because Queen is still, it's still there. Still there. 
until okay. you get the next robotic body. So your robotic bodies depend on your karma. Okay, mm. right. Another wow. thing too, uh, mm. the Almighty gave us free will. Mm. You choose which side you want to go on. Yeah. Like we're sitting here, the guru is talking, you choose mm. whether you're going to... Listen or not. You choose you got the free will. So to you do good go, or to, to do bad. You want to do good or to do bad is up to you. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the power of will. Yeah. It's up to us. Death is not a cruelty. <clears throat> it is just a change of your clothes. Mm. Oh, okay. I understand. And now, the um, where can I get the book that talks about all this information? What's the name of the book? It's called the Bhagavad Gita. The Gita. Bhagavad. The Bhagavad Gita. Oh, okay. I hope you open the regular lapo we sanguin about about the book. Thank you so much there for numbuzo loy. Greetings to you. Okay. 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 And understand. not just any book. What I'm trying to explain, if the listener says, he'll buy the kitchen and he'll understand everything. No, 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 no. You need a guru or somebody to guide you through the way yes, and just yes. okay. getting the kitchen. All right. Okay, thank you. Greetings to you, Guruji, uh, Your Holiness. Uh, Mabato and Babsamboti, uh, the divinity and peace of God be with you all. There's a book I'm reading called The Science of self Realization. It took me on another dimension, just on chapter one. You are confirming almost all that I've, re I've read. I thank you for a very inform informative show. I learned every day in the Inanda Asdungse University College. You are my professors. May God Almighty reign now till eternity. Safe travel speaks to your family after the show. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so now this is another book that our listener is... is, 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 is I found out the science of self-realization. It's confirming everything Guruji that you've just taught us today. Yay! In Nanda, Asdungs University College. Did you hear that? Hey, <laughs> Tom. I'm telling you. All right. Um, I'm putting up WhatsApp. 068 764 uh, Facebook page. Uh, Facebook page. Nanda edit from 4FM group. It's just long sending. <gasps> Okay, uh, I tried, I tried to push, I tried to push, I tried to push. It's it's refreshing. Okay, now, there we go, there we go. Yeah, we've looked at the Well, it's refreshing. Uh, I had a listener, sure. uh, because he's at work now, mm -hmm. he sent uh, the, 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 those questions about holy ash and all this. Uh, he wanted to know about holy ash. Uh, what is holy ash? I don't know about holy ash. Everybody's is using it now, there. Yeah, because he was he also I, I hear people are buying all these holy ashes and all this you find in supermarkets and wholesalers in town, pink, blue, green, yellow salts, salts. and all that. Uh, he wanted to know about that, and secondly, oh, about holy ash. He wanted to know where where does that ash come from? Is it trees? Yeah, some say you know when people start talking say. No, this ash comes from cremated bodies. <laughs> so now you wanted to do what? Are you, what is this holy ash? Uh, nothing to do on my spiritual side. No. <laughs> uh, you it, see that, that's it has no source one. spiritually. That, that's a good one, straight to the point. Thank you. Uh, another mm -hmm. one was uh, what did he ask? Hey, hey, what happened to this question? Uh, about the guy holy ash. Was about him. Oh, Abbasawo, and then he also asked about. The lingam. Was it the, the, yes. Yeah, you, you covered that one in our first. Yeah, that's in the that first piece. Yeah. All right, so I think you'll have pellets up. And there was something else, man. Okay. Let me yeah. continue, Chris. Now, Zitzurel and Lele, thank you so much for being part of the show. It's interesting because I was reading about uh, Yukas two weeks ago. Oh. Now, Guru is here and confirming. 
um, even uh, captured some oh I can't see it properly oh all right oh this is this is such a long uh, no. reading there but thank you so much anyway he is just confirming oh. what the, the, the guru and, uh, just said his holiness so right now food. and then it's, 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 it's just a piece of his readings there Thank you so much, Kota Gontlantla, for, for, for sharing. Tlantla, Kiritin and Lanzi. And for Fisurum Tola, now you can follow him, Lapana, on the Aslung Seni group. He's there, yes. And thank you so much. The pigs and the coats, our sherry, very powerful. Thank you. Tandom Tolong, you're being a little astute, the spong and Molas, and the Fundiso. Umuntu Ukula every time. I'm glad in Ayaga Uda in Yama. Hi, bong, you parrot inside at a corner. Excuse me, spelling goes to the Nina, but part much love. Thank you so much, it's Hando and Yabonga like a cool for Ubiada in Yam of it. I think I have to get what was what, what that that we ate last last week? Yeah. Tabo, um, because I, th I think it's going to help me as that well. That fake meat, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was very nice. Sometimes it's a good one. I think it's a lot of I couldn't kick. I know good. Oh, okay. All right. Hope that you go to story them. So, was easy. Until our Andy the Tonto, please. All right, guys. Sorry, not but live. So, remember that Facebook or manager. Masia, she has to live in Kalanigan, Kaisa Abandu, Gazin to Ezinubu Satani. I think that's exactly what we did. I'm glad you're in the studio. Uh, also, John the uh, Mahamosta, thank you so much. Sunday, the Colonel, and being a little studio, no mudu. We have found that another young man, the cause of Bloom, a small and machine room landy, steady and no mudu from the Zafesia Bong and Lizzie Fundy. So, can you so Charlie? Hello, everyone. It's good to have Guru again. Thanks, God. Uh, thanks, God created the universe so no one can make anything and don't experience it. So, He created human beings so that He can experience the universe through us, but He gives us the willpower so that we can't be like a robot, but our karma uh, came to Ugusikondi Sangoswazi what we have done and there is isn't any so a uh, rock uh, rock rock kind the what the lyricist I hope it's not rock child rock kind K Y N D I salute nice. you all in the studio, including the guru. I have one question. The epic of uh, Gilgamesh creation story and us are being created. Um, the, the? Ganesh. Ganesh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And creation story, where is that? And us being created to serve Enlil or the gods. Where does it fit in the yoga ages? Tin. Uh, I, I think of that was where does it fit in Kali Yuga? No, Thanks. no, no. What, what he's talking about is something Yama Sumerians. It has nothing to do with uh, Nama Hindu. Is it? Yeah, okay. he's talking about the story of the Sumerians. So you can't fit it with the uh, into the Mahid. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, okay. It's like trying to fit something, yeah, yes, like Kemetism and Hinduism, and you Is ask it? where does this fit? No, it could be the same story, but in Egypt it was told like this, in Sumeria it was told like this, in uh, Greece it was told like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, okay. That's what happens. All right, okay. Sandam Tolo, if we all had an awareness and understanding that God resided deep within ourselves, I'm sure I'm going to say that 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 I don't know what you ever heard about David, David Ike, so David, okay, teaching David before. Ike. David Ike's teachings. Oh, I have heard about David Ike's teachings before the Guruji. Teachings are the same teachings. Wow. Sabongakula, the studio. Namaste. Thank you so much. Well, most of the comments, Guruji, are just saying thank you. If I can just summarize in one word. Uh, that's very, very, very informative uh, information. And then we also have some confirmations to other listeners to what they've read, what they've, they've learned uh, somewhere in other sources, which confirms everything that you've said. 
uh, tonight here in studio. All right, uh, um, there's still other comments that I haven't um, touched on, but I'm, I'm, I'm coming by facing years. Let me just also, um, all right, it's also refreshing. There we go. Some banana studio. I just want to understand from you, Comrade Guru, uh, the issue of fasting. Which part of the body does fasting affect? Because you have just mentioned that our body is in um, layers. The soul, the flesh, uh, whatever. Now, some scriptures are saying that fasting actually helps you to come closer to the area of God. In other words, if you fast, your prayers are answered quickly because you move towards the area of God or to the level where God is, or your prayers are heard most quickly and the answers, you can expect the answers more quicker. This comes from uh, the theory, the OL, well, whatever is theory or practical, that people like Moses went to the mountain and fastened Jesus for 40 years or so, and they were closer to God. Now, I want to know which level, which layer of the body, soul or flesh, or what does fasting have effect on? That could be the first question. The second question is the question of karma or predestined future, that you are born with everything you're going to do in this world. For example, you are born and you grow up and you become a criminal and you, have, you are arrested, you serve prison sentence. All that, they say you are saving the previous um, life of, of your karma, that you did something wrong, so you are paying off your karma. But some people uh, are, don't agree with that because they say God can't bring you in this world to suffer. If you suffer, do the wrong things, it's because of your behavior, your environment and all those things. So I want you to clarify that, this thing of saving a karma, that people become criminals because they are saving the karma of their previous world. They live before and then they are saving the karma. Can you just explain that, please? Thank you. Thank, uh -huh. Thank you, my friend. I think... Uh, Two important questions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, in this modern age, we all have cars. Uh -huh. And as we drive our cars, we need to take it timelessly for a service. Uh -huh. And that is what fasting is. Okay. When you fast, you allow your organs uh -huh. time because they work continuously. You don't know. Uh -huh. But your stomach is working continuously uh -huh. and hunger is not part of your stomach hunger uh -huh. comes from your cells okay. they inform your stomach that they need to be replenished uh -huh. so the stomach is just an organ that breaks down food and sends it to the cells oh, okay. so we need to keep this stomach clean timelessly we need to service it so that the right ingredients go to the cells timelessly. Okay. So fasting is simply scientific. Uh -huh. It is to service your body. And that is all fasting is about. What about the, the connection with the Lord? Well, Lord? Uh, I won't be able to answer. Mm -hmm. Just take the scientific reason for now. And when for I now, come back, yes. it's going to, I won't be able to finish on time. Uh, okay. all right? And his next question... Yes. Question about, number two. About the karma. That about the karma. Yes. So it's easily understood mm. that one set of parents mm -hmm. will give birth to two children or three mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. One will be a doctor, one will be a lawyer, mm -hmm. one will be a criminal. Mm -hmm. And only if you understand the law of karma, mm -hmm. that would be possible from one set of parents. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. No, I'll get you. Well, let's hope that uh, the listener is also answered there. It's um, composed of skills in Gobane. Is it possible that we are just in, in, in balanced 
because of diets, etc. Hence, at this age, is like it's easy. You've mentioned, if you can just elaborate, that is it, uh, the reason why we're in balance, diet early. Uh, how is our diets impact that? <laughs> Just like you said, the answer is in the question. <laughs> yes, yes. So, <laughs> yes. So, if you have a vegetarian diet, mm -hmm. you live, you outlive those that having a meat diet, and I'm talking about mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. because today there are so many diseases in meat, mm -hmm. and when you consume meat. Mm. you consume its disease as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you eat vegetables, there mm -hmm. are no diseases. In mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. No, thank you. Makeba. Uh, Makeba Kebo. Okay, thank you so much for being part of the show, Makeba. Uh, yeah, let me continue here. Mm, I wish it, 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 it wasn't the refreshing this much. Okay, yeah. Towards the Shama said, although I do not personally believe in the last days, something in me says the world without an end. The negativity will be massively put aside, slash self destruct, and the few will continue living. And the Mando, Abba Mesaba, Jehovah, Bakubeg, and Bilo. Know that. Um, it sounds scientific, but the world was created by the first ever. Uh, I'll, I'll come. Am I pronouncing this word correctly? It's A L C H E M. Okay. Alchemy. Okay. Alchemy. That's omnipresence. Uchehova Mabantla. Kodwa Ngingo Mnyani. All right? So, was it there? I can just say thank you so much for a comment because it's yeah, just commenting. And I can hear what she, she's, she's taking from a Christian perspective. Yes. That the world right. will end and uh, uh, Lord Jesus will come with a flying in the sky with a horse and a sword to come and collect uh, all, the, all that. He, that's but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking, when we talk about the end of days in Tsuk Tsuk mm -hmm. we're talking about. The end of the season or the mm -hmm. age, mm -hmm. like the guru mm -hmm. explained, that it goes around, right. starts all over, then it goes. Mm -hmm. These four seasons. Mm -hmm. All right, it was from Saint Philozane, a present is the lele from which was finished upon him. Pumose, all book and Philozane is called you. A season, some of the noble Molenis Nanje, as come as a skills in Vani. What about those who are being human only to reap the benefits of it? Good karma in bracket, but deep within they are vile. They are vile in all aspects. Okay, am I understanding this question? Can I ask, help with What okay. What about those who are being human only to reap the benefits of it, only to reap the good karma, but deep inside, you know, they're vile or they're poisonous. You got it, good. Yeah, so so that that is what we said at inception. In Kali Yuga, uh -huh. both the demonic mm. Mm. and the divine mm. lives in one person. Yeah. But karma is not determined by the person itself. Karma mm. is determined by God. That mm -hmm. is wh why God lives inside the soul. Mm. So if you pretend to, to be, be righteous mm -hmm. so that you can earn good karma, mm -hmm. you're fooling yourself because the mm -hmm. spreadsheet of your karma is written by the Supreme Lord Himself mm, and you whilst residing. It. Yeah, whilst residing in mm -hmm. your soul. Ah, thank you. In Tambia say good many are no mamaska gabi kona with the STV or kwa manje. That's all in Gagusha, okay? Uh, if it's refreshing, I feel like. Okay, but God again as a Makaizu wouldn't attend like almost no one came. Let's cut some manger. As a Kodako Shirana Slung saying, it's Nagel Alkuruji, His Holiness Achara Shaim Ramanuj. Did I pronounce that correctly now? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Kingdom Mobile, I don't know what you ever had. Oh, okay, I will get to the J. What I imagine, I'm mixing, 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 I'm m
But I love what Guru just said. People who can break these divisions are religious leaders. And they are so not ready to do that because they are benefiting from preaching lies. Mm. Mm. And then... <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get the more comments, my faith. Oh, okay. Tabo, I'm trying to. All right, all right, all right. Let me just stop right there. It's 10 minutes before 8 o'clock. Tabo, if you can allow. There are some comments that I haven't came to, but now still I can't get to them. And it's Katis Yabalek. So, just to summarize, uh, in the if ever, and go at all, I'm going to comment because we still have like few minutes before we go. I was actually going to comment. I called and as I'm finding trouble. It's not long, mm -hmm. but I mind it. It's coming to which number? It's two to number zero six. Okay, zero six, band band. Okay, sure. All right. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much. Uh, now I have them. I'll go to you. I am Dandaba. I am Dandaba. Amen. Oh, I am Dandaba. The wars are going on all over the world. Are all spiritual because as uh, because as Guru says, it's about humanity. Remember, we are all human before we are anything else. So the ones chooses to be from from king to subject. As Komoza Kranse, thank you so much. I am the Nava, connecting the dots. Molweni, Tozi, Leshamase, Amen to one God, one love, one humanity. Ununtu, in spite of different geographic and alignment to the all, uh, much love. Thank you so much there, uh, Tozi, Les Milan. All right, so let me go to this VN right now. Um, okay, Yole? Yeah. Pratavo, tell Ubu Zelana about Itentra Nama Agoris. Ukoti, is it a form of uh, Hinduism? And what is it about Tantra Nama Agoris? Nogoti, do they have about about Twalisile? And can you explain that to us? Uh, is there a darker side to to? Uh, Hinduism because Nala and Estuini Unumunto fear it are a terrible to his uncle, among two in Yak, Muntarati, Muntarati, Umkunkul, Umkunkul, so Bana Boyna Kunkul, and how do they differentiate between Umkunkuli no, 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 Munto Sotisai, or is it the same? It's just a, a darker side of Hinduism. We'd like to know more about Tantra, uh, positive Tantra, negative Tantra, if there is such a thing. And the um, Ama Agoris, especially Ama Agoris. Unfortunately, I'll have to do this on another show. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to give the wrong impression yeah. if I rush through it. Okay, okay. It doesn't need to yeah, be. This is why it took me I was listening to each other. I said, I, yeah, I, 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 I can't understand this. Maybe the guru will understand it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not a specific show, not on this one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mzama, for, for, for that question. What I like is that we, we, we keep on having more and more things that are left behind that we still, uh, well, in, in our next visit with the Guru Tabo, please mm. let us take notes on that one because it, yeah. it, it seems like we still have other parts mm. or other shows and we Topics. should take a cool Unzamo uh, today, you mm, know, Unzamo, mm. because he, he, he has a bit of info about, uh, uh, let's say, Hinduism. Mm -hmm. So he could come up with the relevant questions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Unzamo, for that. Thank you so much. Skywalker, let me see if I can get you in this one minute that we are left. And tell you what's negative and positive. 
the the guru did talk about this on the last yeah. show. Yeah. The negative, yeah, yeah, positive, yeah. negative. Yeah. So I'd say yes, Skywalker. Uh, just in to summarize on that. Yeah, age. Yeah, you age. You to which I can say balance. Okay. Oh, the right. Hey, Sefund, so on the show. Thank you so much, Mdaleli, for being part of the show. Thanks once again. Thank you so much, Your Highness, His Holiness, uh, the Guruji, Yabagate Dati, and I'm Sanjay in studio again. And I can't wait uh, to be part of, for you to be part of the show on uh, the next show. I'm not sure when Tabo will tell mm. us. And thank <laughs> oh. you to the whole team. Thank you to the whole team. <laughs> thank you so much. And once again, please do invite me. Whenever you're having another party. <laughs> we will. For the soya. For the soya, yes. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> so, so we're going to call. Now, um, there are other listeners that were interested to come to the ashram. I'm not sure if we can share the details. If ever there's someone out there who say that uh, I, I just, I, I wish to be part, where to go, the times of the teachings, the days. Mm. And stuff like that because they ask. We'll also we'll also share maybe the videos from uh, and photos from their page onto our oh, okay. page, All right. so they can also just go straight to the. You can just share the link the or link. share yeah. the from 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 the post to our Slum uh, page, yeah. so it's going to be much easier. All right. Gwen, can I give my last message? Yes, yes, of, of course you can. I think uh, Africa is ready for a spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. And when Africa awakes spiritually, mm -hmm. we will be the most prosperous and spiritually mm -hmm. embossed yeah. society in the world. We will be number one in economy, mm -hmm. in every aspect of human life, mm -hmm. we will be number one. So we, we, we are planting the seed of the revolution mm -hmm. in my previous show mm -hmm. today, and I'm sure you have other people as well that mm -hmm. come on to plant the seeds of mm -hmm. revolution, mm -hmm. spiritual revolution. Mm -hmm. Let your listeners take our hand mm -hmm. and work hand in hand and spread this news, mm -hmm. starting from South Africa mm -hmm. and then claiming our continent back. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Now, uh, from the Peace and Journey, 28 Dam Stable Avenue. Am I reading correctly? Crescent. 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 Staple. Huh? Dam Staple. Okay, let me just on the mic. Right. I'm going to tell you. Please do. 20. Yeah, and I'll always say 28 Dam Stable Crescent Reservoir Hills. Oh. Lunch Tuesday. The service is on Sunday at 10:30 a.m. every Sunday. That is, and the Facebook page and the post Tabo would share on Aslum Seni, uh, so that is going to be easy for you. 10:30 Sunday, 28th Damstable Crescent Reserve Hills. Thank you. Sebonga, the Stimela African Changes. My face too.